Scott Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee and today I am here to show you guys how to put together an embellishment this sweet 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 little gingerbread um so sweet I don't know if you can see but I did add um glossy accents some little buttons super cute um way to just dress it up and it's just paper um so i wanted to show you guys how to put it together um a lot of people have issues with cut files now this one came from cadoodle bug designs and i will link that below and she usually gives a weekly freebie um and you can go over there um and get the freebie and try it out try out her cut files she also does lots of sales on them um where she does like 80 or 90 percent off or whatever um every couple months so you know you can collect them up um super cute files i absolutely love them um there's also a couple other websites there's cuddly cute designs there's Marjorie Ann Designs, and there is, what's the other one? Treasure Box, Treasure Box Designs. And um, I will try to link all of those below for you guys. I love the files. Oh, and there's also uh, Little Scraps of Heaven. Um, and they all have little cute, um, you know, animals and kids and whatever little things you can piece together that's a lot of what i use whenever i do my um stuff my piece my pieces that i have made that y'all see and um, that's where they came from so um like i said i wanted to just show y'all to put this gingerbread together now this is a file that i rigged up because it's technically it was technically supposed to be a shaker file. I already cut this part off. But um, this is, I think it's called the Clyde. I think it's the Clyde Peaker or something like that. Shaker. Um, and this is what it actually looked like. And then there was another piece for the candy. Because this is supposed to be candy. And then, of course, this is your shaker. Well, I cut that off. I just took my scissors and snipped it off um, to create this. So, I will put this one together with you guys. Um, I like to use my Barely Art glue, as y'all know. Um, but pretty much, first off, you're going to put the arms on first because you're just making layers, pretty much. So... You want to use the outside of the arm that has the definition. You can see that it's a little bit um, curved. That's You want that part to show so that you have little curvy arms on the gingerbread. And then you want to put the body on, which is this piece. Okay. Pretty much just going to stick this on. And hold it on because I am using um, basil. Is that what it's called? Yeah, basil cardstock. Um, I had never used basil cardstock. Um, it's not readily available to me. But when I went to my scrapbook um, getaway thing um, in the Smoky Mountains, there was a Joann's up there, and they was having a sale on their cardstock. You could get 10 sheets for like $3. So, I grabbed a bunch, and I was able to get this textured. And I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it is textured on it. But I got some textured, I got some glitter, and it's been so exciting to get to use those because um, using the textured paper on these just makes a difference. Now, let me also say that I did ink all these pieces because I mass produced these. I, I inked it with this, uh, my ground espresso. This is my favorite. I'm going to have to get a refill because it's almost empty. Um, and my dauber, and I just went around and inked all the pieces. I inked the hat, the leaves, um, the body, this, um, the fuzzy part for his hat. I inked it all in the same color. 
Now, you could get more technical and ink, you know, the red hat in some reds or whatever, but I don't, I don't bother um, changing up colors whenever I'm doing them. I just tend to pick one color and do it all in the same color. So, now that we have his head on, we're going to put his hat on, and it's pretty much just lining it up. Now, most cut files will have a base like this that can be cut out so that you can um, just, you're just pretty much laying down all your pieces to build it, but some don't. Sometimes you have to um, either create your own base piece or just be careful and like glue the edges together of where stuff goes. And it's helpful to pull up the picture and actually look at the picture um, on your screen or on your phone or whatever while you're putting it together. It's, it's very helpful to have a picture to look at. So the end pretty much we're just adding this on and then we're going to add the little fluffy ball on up here and you could totally if you had some flocking which I mean does people really have flocking anymore okay okay I do y'all <laughs> but you could totally add flocking on this to um, give it a fuzzy look if you wanted to go even more in depth um, than what I have but um, it's definitely you know it's not necessary it's just me being my extra self <laughs> So pretty much these are the hands, um, and you're just going to put these on, and I might have to trim it up a little bit since, like I said, I did fudge the, the base, and I have a little bit of extra sticking out where I trimmed it, but it's okay. I mean, it's not a big deal either way. Okay, so we have that much done so far. Okay, so then, this is where the first leaf is going to go. So I'm just going to put it on, and all the leaves are the exact same shape, even though when you cut these ones out, they cut all different directions and all that like they're different, but they're really not. They're all the exact same shape, so it's not a big deal if you mix them up. All right. And then put this one on. And then pretty much you're just going to put your little um, berries on. This little pickup tool is awesome. Y'all saw me use it a lot. It's just a basic little wax pencil top tip. Okay, and then I'm going to push that down for a minute because where I'm building up so many layers, like it has a lot of dimension, even though it has a lot of dimension, even though it's just flat paper other than the nose. The nose I will pop dot up, or not pop dot, but add a little bit of foam tape. This is super cute they have all different kinds of sets of the gingerbreads on there and they would be so cute to do like your Christmas layout a recipe book um, you know whatever for Christmas so then you have the little um, icing layers for his hands and I like to just use my tweezers when I'm getting into the small stuff like this now, they do have a lot of, on these, they have print and cut, or not print and cut, but print files where you can print them out and then you can fussy cut it, or I guess if you have a machine that can recognize it and cut it, I think a brother scan and cut's what they're called. You know, you could do that, but um, you could totally print these out on a printer. Um, they're super cute. That um, you do have to have a Cricut if you want to cut them apart like this, or a cutting machine, not necessarily a Cricut. Um, and then I am going to add the buttons, which it has these, um, is the buttons that you're supposed to glue on. But I have these that I won years ago from some crop. Um, 
and I have just been using them up. I added some that I got last year from a partner swap back in here, but I just pick them up and stick them on there, and they work perfect as little buttons. Is that not cute? Okay, so now the finishing touches. Um, let me put my close my glue up. I'll have glue boogers in it. Okay, pretty much my gel pen. Um, this is one of my favorite tools, and pretty much I'm just going to draw in some little designs, highlight this stuff. Um, this just adds the finishing touches to stuff. And then for the nose, just across here, you give it a little shadow. I like to go a few extra times and make it a little bit wider. And then give it a little bit of freckles. Because what's a gingerbread without freckles, right? I'm kind of partial to them myself. <laughs> Having red hair. I do have lots of freckles. Okay. And the other thing I didn't mention is after I inked um, the face, I did add chalk with this little dauber um, for his little cheeks. Just to, you know, give him a little bit of a blush. So... Um, pretty much that is all I did. Um, and then I took this, I always call it liquid glass because that's what it used to be, glossy accents, and I just put it on here, um, to give the berries a little bit of shine, like they are in real life. And you have a super cute little gingerbread guy. Um, and you could totally... Let me swap them out because that one's wet now. But um, you can totally, you know, use it to top. Like if this was your photo, you could totally use it as a journal box. Put it at the top and something. Like you could take like this little Merry Christmas down here and have a journal box. Is that not the cutest? And all these little words, I have a bunch of different ones. These actually came from a Timu die. Um, that I got that has a bunch of different Christmas uh, words on it. Um, super cute. I'll try to link that if it is available. Let's see. It has all these all these different words. It says Santa, Twinkle, Jingle, Bright, Merry, uh, Joy, Noel, Earth. It says because it has an own to it. It says Peace on Earth, Believe. Wonderland, meeting, um, so a bunch of different words, um, and, you know, you can, those were just done with a little crank die cutter, but, um, super cute options, and I just wanted to show you guys, like I said, um, how to put it together and how simple it is, um, those files, some of them have more pieces and they are a little more, uh, difficult and time consuming, but these were really fast, um, and so let me know if you guys like these, um, if you'd like to see me do more of them and, um, just leave it in the comments below and until next time, bye y'all.